Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I'm going to compare Vichy Mineral 89 Booster with Eucerin's Hyaluron Filler Moisture Booster. Besides having both a booster word in their names, they also have a lot of ingredients in common. So let's see, I'm going to compare them based on claims, ingredients, effect that they create on the skin, packaging and pricing, and how they perform as a makeup base. Okay, so first, as always, let's start with the ingredients. They both have 11 ingredients and some of the 11 ingredients are actually the same. They have six matching ingredients in total and I will mention them here on the screen and let's discuss them a little bit. So we have a uh, water, butylene glycol, a uh, sodium salt of hyaluronic acid, caprol glycol, citric acid, and glycerin. Those are all matching ingredients. Three most important matching ingredients here are sodium salt of hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and caprol glycol. These three ingredients are moisturizing humectants. A humectant is a hygroscopic substance that actually binds water and they act as water magnets. Now the key difference here is that Vichy has high molecular hyaluronic acid and Eucerin has both hyaluronic acids, both low molecular and high molecular hyaluronic acids. Now that is a key difference because high molecular hyaluronic acid is just going to sit on your on the top of your skin. It cannot penetrate deeper into your skin. It cannot reach the deeper layers of their skin and the low molecular hyaluronic acid can do that and can help with wrinkle reduction. So based on that we can see that Eucerin can be an anti-aging product while Vichy is not. Vichy is just going to be a moisturizing product. There's no anti-aging properties here. So it is important when buying a product with hyaluronic acid always make sure that you do have the both types of hyaluronic acid the low molecular and the high molecular one. Then we have glycerin and capital glycol. These are both very good the moisturizing humectants as well. And then we have butylene glycol, water, and citric acid. Now butylene glycol is a solvent and usually butylene glycol's main job is to be a solvent for other ingredients. And it's also a humectant and it helps the products spread nicely. Water, I don't think I have to say anything about water. Water is just the most commonly used uh, solvent in the beauty industry and that's it's the cheapest solvent uh, out there. And then we have uh, citric acid which is actually an AHA, alpha hydroxy acid, but don't get your hopes high up because citric acid has less skin improving magic properties than the glycolic or lactic acid. And this is why citric acid is usually used not as an exfoliant, but more as a helper ingredients in small amounts to adjust the pH of the formula. So, so citric acid here is just helping adjust the pH of the formulation. Okay, so those would be the same ingredients. Now let's see what are the different ingredients in Vichy and Eucerin. Eucerin has perfume, Vichy has no perfume. Eucerin has alcohol, Vichy does not have alcohol but it has mineral 89 uh, while Eucerin does not have mineral 89. Vichy has mineral 89 because they are advertising their product as something that is going to help with strengthening and repairing your skin barrier and that's the main claim that they have. While Eucerin has different claims, Eucerin says that their product is for first age signs for the first wrinkles and it gives you the moisture so that's why they don't have any mineral 89 and they don't talk about the skin barrier but they do have alcohol some people would say that alcohol is bad being so high up in the ingredients list because it is listed second and they actually all companies list the ingredients from the ones with the highest concentration to the ones with the lowest concentration so that means the first ingredient listed has the highest concentration and the last ingredient listed has the lowest concentration so if we have alcohol in the second place we can assume that that is a somewhat a higher concentration than usual and uh, some people ask me like oh is this a good alcohol or bad alcohol so I thought I might use this opportunity to to tell you a little bit more about alcohols in chemistry alcohol is any carbon based compound that contains uh, a hydroxyl uh, group but not all alcohols have the same properties on your skin. For example, we already mentioned glycerin. Glycerin is also an alcohol, but this is something that on the internet people would call a good alcohol because this is a humectant and it's a moisturizer and this really uh, moisturizes skin and hydrates the skin really well. When people talk about uh, so-called bad alcohol, and I have to put a quotation marks here, they mean ethanol or ethyl alcohol or SD alcohol or alcohol. Uh, 
alcohol denaturated. And this is the alcohol that is found in most alcoholic drinks. Now the main concern of people is that is that alcohol is drying out the skin. But there is a really good video online by Lab Muffin uh, Science and I will link it right here. So if you want to hear in-depth explanation about alcohol, go ahead and watch this video. It's amazing. And I will just give you a brief explanation here. Alcohol is used for dissolving ingredients that cannot be dissolved in water. It's also used as a cleaning agent. It's also used if it's a higher concentration, it's uh, used as a preservative. It actually improves the application properties of the product it's a mix helps the formula spread out uh, really easily and it also can act as a skin penetration enhancer because some active ingredients cannot go through the skin deeper and then alcohol helps with penetration of those ingredients so there are a lot of different things that alcohol can be used for in the uh, cosmetic industry and it's not like you are washing your face or applying vodka straight to your face it's not like that like you have a really small concentration of alcohol in each of these products so it doesn't have it doesn't mean that it's going to be drying on your skin and that brings me to the next category in this video and that is the effect of the skin even though eucerin does have alcohol listed really high up second place in the ingredient list it's not drying on the skin it's very moisturizing it's amazing i love it while Vichy, on the other hand, doesn't have alcohol, but it is drying and it's not moisturizing enough. This is a proof, like comparison of these two products is proof that alcohol does not have to be drying in products. And if a product doesn't have alcohol, it doesn't mean that it's going to be moisturizing. So keep that in mind when purchasing a product and when uh, looking through ingredients list. Don't say no to a product just because it has alcohol. It doesn't mean that it's going to hurt your skin and that it's going to dry out your skin now because some people online claim that Vichy should be used only when layered underneath a moisturizer and of course that is logical because it only has humectants and people say that that's the only way that it performs even though that is not something that is stated on Vichy's website I still decided to test it out and on one side of my face I applied Vichy and then right after that I applied an occlusive moisturizer this is Nivea soft I already did a review on that one you can check it out on my channel and then on the other side of my face I only applied Nivea soft cream and I came back one hour later to check if the Vichy side of my face was more moisturized. So there you go, I waited for one hour and then I performed a little touching test to see if the Vichy side is had more moisture. And to be honest, I couldn't really tell the difference. Both sides of my face were equally moisturized. There wasn't a significant difference here. Now let's see, uh, Eucerin has perfume and Vichy does not have perfume. Now this is another tricky topic. A lot of dermatologists actually say that perfume is responsible for causing most of the irritations on the skin. Now, okay, I, I respect that completely, but I have no problems with small amounts of perfume in my product. I just don't react to perfume and for me that is fine. But if you have damaged skin barrier, then you are most likely to get uh, irritated by perfume. So keep that in mind when purchasing a product for your face if you do have a damaged skin barrier then for you it would be smart to choose a product that does not have a perfume but if you are like me that has no problems you know with the skin barrier and if you can handle perfume and a small uh, percentage then you will have no troubles with using eucerin as well so that's individual, figure it out on yourself. Okay, so I did mention the claims earlier on, but I just want to make sure that I was clear enough here. Eucerin's claims are that this is for the, meant for the first aging signs. This is an anti-aging moisturizing booster because of the hyaluronic acids. And yes, those claims are true, but then on the other hand, Vichy says that this is a hydrating booster, that it moisturizes, hydrates up to 24 hours, and it strengthens the skin barrier. Now, I cannot argue with skin strengthening properties because I cannot measure that in any way. But what I can tell you is that it's not moisturizing as Vichy says that it is. Okay, now let's talk about the packaging. Now, Eucerin has a smaller packaging. You get 30 milliliters here, and it's a glass container. Uh, they both have glass containers, uh, but 
uh, Vichy has more product you do get 50 milliliters of product and uh, I think Vichy is slightly more expensive than Eucerin. Makeup application I absolutely love Eucerin for underneath makeup because it creates a very well moisturized skin with a sticky finish and it creates a great makeup base for foundation to stick to but Vichy on the other hand makes my skin completely dry so I didn't even attempt to apply foundation on top of it because I my skin was definitely way too dry to apply anything on top so I do not like Vichy for underneath makeup so overall my final opinion here is if you need something moisturizing and something that will treat your first aging signs that probably could potentially reduce wrinkles or at least slow down the aging process uh, for you that's definitely Eucerin and you should choose Eucerin even though it does have alcohol really high up it does not show in the effect and I don't mind it at all because the effect on the skin is amazing and I love it but then on the other hand if you do have severely damaged skin barrier and you are prone to reacting to perfume in your products or alcohol in your products then you can maybe choose mineral 89 but just be warned that on its own mineral 89 is not as moisturizing as Vichy says that it is and you do have to add a moisturizer on top of it Another thing that I want to mention just before finishing this video is that both of these products are non-comedogenic so you don't have to fear that they're going to cause you any breakouts because they are both non-comedogenic so if you're acne prone don't worry you can use both of these. This video was made by a pharmacist specialized in cosmetology and that would be me. Hi I'm Danny. and in case you enjoyed please like share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!